Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to do a local install of AutoGPT and what makes this video different is my laptop is actually not that strong. I have a Mac from early 2015 with an i7 processor and 8 gigs of RAM so my laptop is around 8 years old. Initially, I was a bit hesitant on installing AutoGPT locally, but since my channel is called Testing AI, I thought, why not test this out and see if it works or if it doesn't work. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the steps you need to set up AutoGPT locally, especially if you have a weaker or older computer. All right, let's get started. So if you did not know already, AutoGPT is an experimental open source application which chains together thoughts to autonomously achieve whatever goal you set. And I have already made two videos which you can find in my playlist here called Sparks of AGI on what AutoGPT looks like when you run it on a browser. The first thing you need to do is to have your terminal set up. I'm going to use the terminal from Visual Studio Code, but you can use iTerm or any other software to access the terminal. The next step you need to do is to make sure you have your Python set up. If you don't have it set up, you can go to python.org slash downloads. I'm going to have this link in the description and download the latest version. I already have Python set up locally, but I'm going to do a check anyways. All right, so I have Python 3.11.2. The next step is to download the latest stable release of AutoGPT from their GitHub repo. If you don't have GitHub set up, you can access this link for the Mac and download GitHub to your computer. I have that set up as well, so I'm going to type git and this means I have GitHub set up locally. All right, now I need to go to the latest stable release. Now the reason they do this is the master is the branch of their GitHub repo which has new code coming in consistently. Since this is an open source application, lots of people are contributing and master is the branch which has dynamic data, that means it's not stable. But if you use the stable branch of this GitHub repo, you can get the most stable version that will not have any issues. So to find their latest stable version, you can go to this link. The latest version is 0.2.2. .2 but you don't have to hunt around and find what the latest version is. You can just use this command git clone dash b stable and the link to the repo and this will get you the latest stable version on your computer. So just copy this and now I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to create a folder in my desktop first. So I'm going to change the directory to my desktop and then make a directory called auto GPT. You see there's a folder which came on the right. So now I'm going to go inside that directory. And now I'm going to just do a git clone. The command I just copied and press return. Cool, so I have the stable version of AutoGPT now cloned to my computer. If you open up this folder, you're going to see that all the code is right here. All right, the next step to do here is to do a pip install requirements. This will download all the dependencies that your code needs to run. So I'm going to paste that right here and press enter. I see an error, so this has nothing to do with AutoGPT. I just have my pip, which is my Python package installer, a bit outdated. So I'm going to do a pip install upgrade first. This is just updating my pip installer. All right, now I'm going to run my requirements again. Could not open requirements file. All right, so my issue is I skipped this step and that was my mistake. So I'm going to go inside it. And now I'm inside the folder, AutoGPT, inside the folder that I created. And I'm going to run that command again. Cool. Now it's downloading all the things that it needs to run AutoGPT locally. All right. The installation of my dependencies is now complete. So I'm just going to open that folder on my Visual Studio code. All right. I now have a stable version of AutoGPT cloned to my computer. The next step here is to find this file called .env.template in your AutoGPT folder. So I have this file right here and you need to make a copy of that file and name it .env. So I'm just going to make a copy of this right here and paste and I'm going to name it .env and remove everything else. 
So this is basically a configuration file where you provide your API keys which AutoGPT will access locally to run all its tasks. So there's two main API keys you need to be concerned about here. The first one is of course the OpenAI API key and make sure to have your limits set and I have made a video already on how to set up your OpenAI paid account, how to access your API keys, and how to make sure your usage limits are set. So I'm gonna to go to my own OpenAI account and create a new secret key. I'm gonna call it local auto GPT and create the key. I'm gonna copy it and paste it right after that equal sign. So the next thing here is to set your memory API key. Now, what is this? So when you run AutoGPT, it's gonna create a lot of tasks. It's gonna go through a bunch of data. It's gonna save some of that data. So you can either save it on your local computer or you can use a service like Pinecone. For today's video, I'm gonna use Pinecone as my memory backend. And if you don't know what Pinecone is, you can go to this website called pinecone.io and create a free account. And they do have a small wait list right now because there's a lot of people trying out Pinecone. I already have my Pinecone account set up, so I can access my Pinecone API keys right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncomment this section for Pinecone and I'm gonna provide my Pinecone API key and environment. So if you look here, there's an environment provided and the actual key is hidden. So I'm gonna just copy this key value and paste it right here. I can delete this later, so it's not a big deal. And next, I'm gonna find this region, which is Asia Northeast One GCP, and I'm gonna paste that right here. All right, that's pretty much all I need to do to set up my end file. And to actually run this, I just need to run this shell script.run.sh. So this is kind of a runner which checks all the requirements again. And if everything's good, it just runs auto GPT. Okay, so it says Python command not found. I did check my path variable to see if Python button stalled. Actually, let me change this around a little bit because I have Python 3. I was wondering if that might be the issue. So I'm going to press that and rerun that again. Okay, so it's running the requirements again to see if everything's okay. And most of the requirements, as you see, are already satisfied. So it's just doing a recheck, but this time it's running Python 3. So maybe something's different. Great. So I was uh, scared for a second that maybe I would not be able to run this locally because of some Python issues. But I have Python 3, and all I did was to change the shell script from Python to Python 3. And everything else seems to be the same. The file autogpt.json does not exist. The local memory would not be saved to a file. So I have everything else in place. All my requirements are done. It says create an AI assistant. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load defaults. And I'm going to try the same test that I tried with agent GPT. And that is to help me create an AI newsletter for my YouTube channel and brand. So I'm going to call it newsletter GPT. And if you haven't seen my video, make sure to watch this one called Agent GPT. It says newsletter GPT is here. I'm at your service. Describe your AI's role. For example, an AI designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. I'm going to say newsletter GPT and AI designed to help me write and scale my email newsletter up to 100,000 users. Cool, so I have my name and title of my AI agent ready to go. It says now to enter up to five goals for your AI. So I'm gonna say create the email structure, find the best kind of AI tools help me build a social med media strategy. Give me ideas for 
incentives help me reach out to brands cool so these are real targets that i have for myself i think those are worthy enough goals for auto gpt to work on so it's saying using the memory of type local cache and the browser as chrome and it has started to think cool it says before we proceed let's clarify what you want to achieve what is your main goal of the newsletter is it to inform educate entertain or to promote a product or a service once we have a clear understanding of your goals we can proceed and create an email structure for your newsletter so here i actually don't need to provide the goal i can just authorize this command by pressing y which is yes and it says command authorized by user so this is already pretty impressive i thought at first that i would not be able to run auto gpt at all but it's working pretty fine okay so to create the email structure we need to find the sections that will be included in the newsletter some common sections include a welcome message featured content news and updates and a call to action what sections do you want to include so these are actually questions it's asking itself I don't actually have to answer these because I don't really have a place to answer these. There's no form for me to fill up. So it's asking all these things to itself. These are just thoughts. Like you see, these are thoughts and it is talking to itself. This is kind of trippy, but cool. Okay, it says once we have found out the sections that will be included, we can proceed to create the structure. One way to structure is to have a header section that includes your logo and a welcome message followed by a featured content, news and updates, and a call to action. Would you like to proceed? I'm going to say yes. The next thought here is there are many kinds of AI tools that can help with tasks such as content creation. What specific tasks do you want the AI tools to help with? So here I can just press Y or yes again, but there's an option here for me to press yes or approve on a specific number of commands. So I'm going to say Y dash three. So the next three commands will be approved instantly. All right, before we proceed, let's clarify what you want to achieve. And the next command is coming up and it's thinking again. It got auto approved because I said the next three. So it's doing all the thinking itself and all the reasoning and everything else. I have not provided it any more input. So let's look at this. Once we have found out the sections that will be included, we can proceed to create the structure. All right, so I'm going to do one more attempt, and this time I'm going to do five approvals. So it's found out a plan. It's going to find the best kind of AI tools for my newsletter. It's going to do some research and select the appropriate AI tools. I think there might be a small bug here because it came up with the same plan three times, and it keeps repeating the same action. So it's saying find the best kind of AI tools in this plan. It's doing the same thing here research and compare different AI tools. Again, here, obtain a list of AI tools and research and compare them and select the most appropriate tools. And I think it's kind of stuck here. So as you see, this tool is still not perfect yet, but I still wanted to run this locally in my old computer and see if it works. And I think that has been achieved. I did manage to run everything pretty seamlessly apart from small issues here and there, but I think I need to play around with AutoGPT a little bit more to figure out what kind of quirks it has and why it's stuck. So there can be a bunch of reasons, either it can't connect to the internet properly or it can't save a specific action on Pinecone or there might be some API issues, which is the reason it keeps getting stuck and cannot proceed to the next goal. So I don't want to blame AutoGPT for its issues right away. There can be a bunch of reasons why it's doing what it's doing, but I think I achieved the goal for this video. So if you have an older computer, I would still recommend you to try and run AutoGPT locally because my 2015 computer is running this fine. And that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till my next video, thank you so much.